I would like to welcome the family and friends of our licensed practical nursing students as we celebrate their graduation ceremony. This evening, we honor the hard work and accomplishment of our graduates. I am sure that our graduates will attest that the support of the family and friends has been welcomed, appreciated, and at times very needed. I am certain that sharing this achievement with each of you was especially gratifying. If there are any graduates that would understand the significance of a remote ceremony during this worldwide pandemic, it is our licensed practical nursing students. Your chosen profession appreciates the importance of demonstrating health and safety with concern for others. Since becoming district superintendent for the ONC BOCES and attending LPN capping and graduate ceremonies, I have been struck by the commitment family and friends make to support these LPN students. I'm equally struck by the LPN students' acknowledgement and gratification of your efforts to support them. Service to others, especially when you provide caring assistance in a time of need, not only highlights the nursing profession as a calling, it also defines and enhances the character of the individuals who choose to serve. I congratulate each of you on your academic, practicum, and program achievements. We recognize these achievements as a starting point for you to begin your new profession. Your continued commitment to improve your knowledge and skills will be essential element of your nursing and healthcare responsibilities and your path to a rewarding career. Thank you for answering the call to provide service to others. Enjoy this well-deserved recognition. You should be proud of your accomplishments. Congratulations and thank you. It is now my honor to introduce our 2020 graduates. Hiera Bainacci. I would like to thank my son Grayson for giving me motivation to push myself through this program and continuing my education. I would like to thank my mom, dad, Step parents and Dylan for encouraging me every step of the way. I am who I am today because of your effort, guidance, and support. A special thank you to my grandpa who watched Grayson while I was in school or even when I just needed a night to study to make sure I did my best and graduated. I am beyond thankful for the relationships I made throughout this program. We all stood together and pushed each other to do our best and most importantly, accomplish our dream. My last thanks goes out to my teachers and Terry for all your efforts in making this happen. Michelle Barrett. Janine Bivens. I would like to thank my family and friends. You know who you are for being supportive and helping me through the last 10 months. My family has eaten cereal, sandwiches, and they even had to fend for themselves many nights. So again, thank you. Ama Brown. Thank you to my BFFs, Terry and Chad, for literally picking me up at the start of this journey. I appreciate the love and support. A big thanks to my sister, Victoria, for seeing this adventure through with me and always being my rock through everything. My immediate family, who I've missed so much, thank you for showing me love and support from afar. My baby girl, Scarlett, for being my motivation, purpose, and reason for all that I do. And to my buddy, Noel, thank you for always providing words of encouragement and hope for me when I was second guessing myself. You were right, I made it, and this is for you too. Shauna Fancher. I would like to thank my fiance, Fred, and my children, Caitlin, Caleb, and Ryan, for eating a lot of pizza over the last 10 months as I studied and did not have time to make dinner. Thank you for helping with the laundry and the housework that I did not have time to do. I want to thank my parents, Connie and Doug, for helping me out with Ryan on my school days and clinical days. I want to thank all of you for your never ending support and tell you I love all of you endlessly. Nicholas Farrell. 
I'd like to thank the individuals that helped make getting through these last 10 months possible. My fiance, Emily, for constantly being in my corner, pushing me to study and pushing me to put in the work to succeed in this program and all other aspects of my life. My three children, Cassidy, Ayla, Zachary, for bearing down and accepting the sacrifice of time and attention given by me to be able to complete schoolwork. I wouldn't have been able to push on through the stressful low points that occur periodically in life if it wasn't for the love of these four individuals. They were constantly motivating me and reminding me that quitting was never going to be an option. I put in the time and effort to complete this program and I did it for them. As much as I am proud of completing this program, I am also glad it's over. Portia, Hannah. I would like to thank my mom and my family for continually supporting me throughout these past 10 months of school. They were always just a phone call away and never stopped believing in me and pushing me to keep moving forward. Whenever I had a question or concern, I knew I could always count on my family to be there and help me through anything. Thank you for all the late night phone calls and encouraging me when I was ready to just give up. I am truly blessed and grateful for everyone that has supported me and helped me make a further step in my career. I love you all and I could not have done this without you. Regina Hoff. Samantha Cars. I would first like to thank Dave and Kim Halliquest. Not only did they help with school financially, I knew I always had someone to fall back on when I needed some help. I would also like to thank Lisa and Randy Prush for encouraging me and having faith in me when I was just about to give up. I would also like to thank my grandmother, Wendy Roberts, for all the phone calls and late conversations when I thought I couldn't handle it. Thanks to the mental smacks on getting me back on track. Lastly, I would like to thank my boyfriend, Adam Halliquest, for putting up with me for the last 10 months. Trust me, it wasn't easy, but it's over, and I couldn't be more proud. I am truly blessed for all the support I had these last 10 months, and I can't appreciate you guys more. Thank you, and I love you all. Brandy Kleingartner. I would like to thank my boyfriend, Joe, for standing by me and being a great support system while I was in school and getting me out of the house from spending hours on homework and studying. I would also like to thank my son, Corbin, for accepting the neglect that I gave for the last 10 months. Thank you to my stepchildren for helping when I needed them to. Lauren Knapp. I would like to thank my daughter, Maya, for having amazing patience and understanding about my new busy schedule and for making compromises about us spending time together in between assignments. Thank you to my dad, stepmom, and grandmother for taking care of Maya on my clinical days, when I would go to work, and when I needed some quiet time to study, and for being supportive and encouraging me to continue my education. Melissa Lee. I would like to thank my children for their love and endless support through the last 10 months. It was a family decision for mom to finally shoot for the stars and reach her childhood dream to become a nurse. To my son, Cameron, thank you for helping with the finances while I reached my dream. To my daughter, Lorgan, thank you for being my biggest supporter. To my childhood bestie, Heather, thank you for always being my rock. To the rest of my family and friends, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support. Karina Matthews. I would like to thank my family and friends for the support they have given me for these 10 months of practical nursing school. My husband for doing his own laundry and helping with the household chores and not complaining of all the times he had box macaroni and cheese and sandwiches for dinner. My daughter, for coming over and easing my anxiety without a second thought. My mom, my biggest cheerleader, you may not be here physically, but I know you are proud. Thank you.
Kimberly McIntyre. I would like to thank the Oneana Job Corps staff for setting my foundation to be part of the ONC BOCES Practical Nursing Program. I would like to thank my family and boyfriend for the continuous support and motivation and listening to me vent when the going got tough. I would also like to thank my teachers, Leisha and Gina, for believing in me and for always being there to help whenever I ask for help. I will never forget our car rides. It made me less afraid of you guys. Finally, a shout out to Terry for seeing the potential in me. Thank you for always listening. Michael Moran. Thank you to both of my families for all the support and encouragement in doing this program, which has challenged and humbled me in so many ways. Thank you to my fiance, Tori, for coming to see me when I was working late at night and for her unrelenting love and support. Finally, I have to thank my late aunt, Valerie, who was taken by cancer and who inspired me to pursue nursing in the first place. She was an amazing woman who encouraged me to pursue this program and whom I hope to make proud in my nursing career. Jennifer O'Hara. I'd like to thank my boyfriend, Timothy Davis, for supporting me and encouraging me to pursue my dreams. Rashika Overstreet. First, I'd like to thank the entire staff at ONC BOCES for believing in me and for pushing me to achieve my dream of becoming a nurse. If it were not for all of your tireless efforts that were put forth during this pandemic, I would not have been able to reach my fullest potential. I would also like to thank Lacey Rinker and the Center's Healthcare for being in my corner since the day I was hired. You guys are a pivotal part of my success and I am grateful. Most of all, I'd like to thank my family for being so understanding when I had to miss family events so I could pursue my dreams. On this journey, I have met people that I'll never forget, people that I'll consider my friends forever. So I would like to say congrats, my friends, we did it. Shaquilla Parker. Kamiko Patterson. I would like to thank my mother and stepfather, Judith and Robert Loop for helping me return to New York. I would like to especially thank my mother for assisting me financially while I attended my practical nursing program. I give my eternal love and gratitude to you both. Thank you, and I love you. Your daughter, Kamiko Toy Patterson. P.S. With your love and assistance, I did it. Amber Pratt. I would like to thank my two daughters for pushing me and giving me the motivation to never give up. My parents and my sisters who helped me with my children for 10 months so I could study and spend countless hours on the computer. My three brothers for staying up who knows how many nights, helping me study and learning as much about the human body as I did. And lastly, my Uncle George for helping me hold everything down so I could focus on school. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for all your endless support. Brittany Ryan. I want to thank my son, Grayson, for his love and support. I would not have been able to do this without you. Kayla Simpson. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my brother Billy, and my boyfriend Nick for always believing in me. I'd like to also thank my dear friend Jennifer for her endless support, which sometimes included feeding me, and for being my study buddy since day one. Rebecca Smith. Thank you fellow students, faculty, and staff for helping me adjust to school life again after 29 years and accommodating my broken leg. Thank you, Mom, Brian, Charlie, Sally, David, and Heather for your ongoing support and encouragement. Thank you, Shauna, my tech support. I wouldn't have made it through pandemic homeschooling without you. And to my husband, Chris, thank you for listening to me talk endlessly about body parts, index cards, and grades, making sure I had clean laundry, food, and caffeine and for understanding that homework and studying had to come first. You were essential in me achieving my goal and I am grateful for your love and support. Kaylee Spencer. 
I would like to take this opportunity to thank my parents, Rick and Brenda Spencer, my grandmother, Barbara Prindle, and the rest of my family and friends who have helped make this possible. Thank you for always making sure I had everything I needed for the last 10 long months so I could successfully complete nursing school. Thank you for all the words of encouragement and support helping me through some of the most unprecedented times. Alexis Wilcox. I would like to thank my friends, family, and everyone that has supported me these past 10 months. I would also like to thank my teachers for being helpful when needed and understanding each and every day. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Amber Williams. Through my educational journey, I'd like to thank my husband, Tanner, for always supporting me when I felt like giving up. I wouldn't have made it without you. I'd also like to thank my parents, Melinda and Ken, for always believing in me and encouraging me, and for knowing that I can do anything if I try hard enough. I love you guys, and thank you for always being there for me. I would also like to say a big thank you to my employer for sponsoring my education. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. Brittany Wygant. JC Zaverell. Rebecca Smith has embodied all the characteristics to be the outstanding student of the year. Rebecca is an enthusiastic learner who looks forward to new experiences that enable her to grow in her new professional role as a caregiver. She is always ready to lend a hand to anyone who needs it, whether it be a fellow student who needs help practicing a new skill or a patient that wasn't assigned to her who needs a reassuring touch. She is an advocate to anyone in need and possesses a solid knowledge base that enables her to critically assess a situation to provide appropriate care. We look forward to her returning next year to pass on the light of knowledge to the next practical nursing class. Congratulations and best wishes for a successful nursing career. Good evening and congratulations to each and every one of you. My name is William Ball and I'm the Director of Career and Technical Education, Alternative Education, and Adult Education. At ONC BOCES, we believe the practical nurse is an integral part of any healthcare team. As you leave this program and begin to seek gainful employment, take comfort in knowing that according to labor statistics, the need for practical nursing candidates is at an all-time high. Given the skills of resilience and determination and the knowledge that you've accumulated here at ONC BOCES, you will be well served as you seek to move into this market. Once again, on behalf of ONC BOCES, we congratulate all of you on your hard work we extend that congratulations to each and every member of your family who knows the sacrifices that you've put in to reach this milestone. Good night.